Here we have a MacBook Air that was mailed in for no backlight. This one is coming from Arizona. So a customer does not have a backlight on the screen and liquid damage. The first thing I want to do is inspect the board to see if we see anything obvious. Right off the bat, I do see a red marker here. This could indicate that liquid came in contact on this area of the board. Let's check this area first. And I do not really see any signs of liquid damage. This is not a big deal here. Just clean it with a swab. I mean, the board looks very clean. Nothing obvious at all. Oh, here, this is the backlight chip. The backlight chip area is not good. Not good. We're going to have to change the backlight driver here. But let's continue inspecting the board. board looks clean absolutely mint no damage at all it's only the backlight driver the backlight chip here and what I'm going to do is just replace the chip now we can reflow the chip and the chip may still be good but looking at the way it looks I would rather just change the whole chip and not having to deal with the customer having a problem later on. So let's remove the chip. get rid of the glare and let's apply leaded solder and mix it along with unleaded And let's grab the 8550 backlight chip.
Yeah, I'm gonna put airspeed all the way up. Add some flux. job is done if all went well and there's nothing else wrong we should have a backlight I did absolutely no measurements I did not see any need to doing a physical inspection it was obvious that the backlight chip is corroded we changed it and now we're gonna test just waiting for the board to cool down a bit So we're going to put the board back inside and see if the problem is fixed. Uh, right now it's 5.30, almost time to go home. And I hope that we do not have to spend more time than we have to to get this board fixed. Uh, one other thing I forgot to test is the backlight fuse. Let me make sure the fuse is good. Backlight fuse should be next to the LVDS connector and right over, right over here. Let's test to make sure the fuse is good because there will be no backlight if the backlight fuse is blown. So let's test continuity mode. I just went straight to changing the chip because it looked bad, but we also have to test to make sure the fuse is good. And it's good. All right. Fuse checks. Let me assemble the board. We're going to plug the screen, the battery. Screen is in, the battery is in. I just need to connect the cable that connects the DC board onto the motherboard. And I'm going to put the SSD drive back inside. So connect the cable and we're going to connect the SSD drive right here and all i need is a charger and we can test we're going to plug the charger to our power bank turn the power bank on and okay i'm not getting a green light oh okay okay we need to connect this cable here now we can try it. Okay, now we have a green light. Oh, we need to put... Okay. And guess what? We have a backlight now. You should see an Apple logo if the hard drive is loaded with an operating system. We do have a backlight now. Look at this. Fixed. Laptop is fixed. Great. Awesome. I'm going to put this on the bench for Big Bus to reassemble back on Monday. Today is Saturday and almost time to go home. This is the last repair for the day. I do not know if I'm going to do anything else. I'm tired. We did a lot of repairs today. Uh, I would say over 18, 20 repairs were done today. We got this one about uh, 20 minutes ago. As soon as I plugged the TriStar tester, it failed. Look at this, fail. So I'm guessing it could be a charging port issue. We may have to change the charging flex. Uh, the guy came with his two kids and they wanna see me do a video on it. So most likely we will do a video on this one. It's not gonna be done today because time to go home so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it 
Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions, and we'll do something else in the next video.